Hey everyone, this is Pig for Life, and in today's Transformers video review, we're going to be taking a look at another third party accessory kit from our friends at the Guild of Concoctionist Intent. This time, we'll be taking a look at one of their sets of Aster Blades, and these blades um, are a remold of the Mastermind Creations Azalea Blades, um, which originally were designed to kind of go with um, the Mastermind Creations Zinnia, who unfortunately did not come with. Uh, the blade. So a lot of people were asking about that. Pe people were really upset that they didn't get the blades with Zinnia. So GCI came in and said, uh, we'll go make some. And not only did they make a remold, they actually did a lot of cool enhancements and improvements. So let's go ahead and start with packaging review. Get this out of the way. <clears throat> and as you can see, it comes in this um, pretty simple um, packaging it's just a, a kind of a card that's folded over it's stapled onto a, a nice ziplock bag but it does come nicely packaged so you don't have to worry about um, getting your nice accessories damaged and shipping they always do a really good job packaging it safely also on the, on the inside you also see uh, a nice little message thanks for your support check out our other products on Facebook, Killinger's Customs, Dr. Killinger being, um, I think, one of the lead people over there at GCI. Uh, it's always him and uh, a collaboration with other great um, kind of third-party makers. In this case, uh, the Aster Blades are a collaboration between Killinger Customs, um, Autotron Prime, who did the design. <clears throat> Uh, and he did a really cool video, which I'll link in the in description below, kind of showing you how he went through the design process to recreate these blades. And then also, uh, Non-Neff Productions, they are the ones that help with the molding. Um, I think they're the ones that did the glow-in-the-dark pieces as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up the Ziploc bag. And you get two of these blades, and the price, I believe, is uh, about $25. It is a... Um, ch the Chosen Prime exclusive. So, as you can see, they fold up the same way as Azalea's um, blades do, and they unfold as well. But they come in three different colors. I was given the blue set to review, because I was always kind of an Obi-Wan fan. But there is also a green set, if you're a Luke fan, or a red set if you're a Sith fan, like uh, Vader or you know Darth Maul, whatever you um, want to <clears throat> whoever you're a fan of but yeah so these blades look really good there is going to be some flashing on these just because they are you know kind of like garage molds um, pretty easy to clean up as you can see here let's put one down um, there's some flashing um, that you just need to clean up on this the glow in the dark piece uh, one of the other things that I wanted to point out was um, there on the original uh, azalea blades, you can see that uh, there's a pass through here. There is a pass through here as well. Um, it's just that the flashing on it is still there, so you just need to kind of poke it out. Uh, so I didn't do that on purpose because I wanted to show you how easy it was. So yeah, now you have them. So again, let's go ahead and compare them with the original blades. In terms of size, um, they're pretty much exactly the same. They do have some slight differences in the sense that uh, I think uh, the handle pieces here are a little bit thinner so they don't stick out as much as the uh, originals. <coughs> uh, but other than that, uh, most of the molding uh, is the same. I think there it, it, it does have uh, more detail in the original blades but it still has the same, again, that same notch out of the blade here, so when you fold it up, it holds nice in place. And if you bring in Azalea, you can still, you know, attach it to the, um, to her little slots. The slots are exactly the same, so they can peg in, no problem. Nice and tight fit. And... As you would expect, they are the same uh, size. So when you unfold these, you can slide them right into Azalea's hands uh, without issue. So now she has an orange set and a blue set, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, one of the things I did notice on mine, again, because of flashing, is one of them doesn't um, fully straighten out, but that's just a, a slight flashing issue. Again, I haven't cleaned these up at all because I wanted to show you guys exactly what it looked like. Uh, and you will see the other difference is that um, these do come with a really um, metallic flake gunmetal paint job. Oh, let's get her out of the way. It's focusing on her too much. <coughs> so you can see really well that there's a metallic flake here. Uh, it's a little too much for me, I think, uh, but uh, I, st I still like it. I like the fact that they added that. Here, I'm just cleaning up the the other flashing on the inside of this handle here. But yeah, otherwise, that's uh, I mean, that's, that's what you get with these blades. Really nice, nicely pinned. Um, not much else to say. Uh, it even though these were designed for Virginia, you can use them with like any other figure. So let's go ahead and bring out another figure that. I thought I would go ahead and show off. So you can go ahead and stick these in the hands of, say, the Nemesis Prime from um, from Toy World, Orionville. And that looks pretty good. I, I like the blue against the um, against the black. And it does work with most other figures. Um, the one thing you just have to be mindful of is that um, because it does have these tabs at the end, uh, you're not going to be able to slide it in. You need something that has an open hand or a hand that can open and close. Um, but yeah, overall, I really like these blades. It's a really nice addition to those um, of you who got Zinnia and wanted blades, and now you have your choice of a number of different colors. And last but not least, I did want to show off the glow-in-the-dark feature. So I did try to charge these uh, before uh, shooting the video. So let's see if they... I, I used a black light. <clears throat> so let's see uh, what they look like in the dark. So you can see, even with um, the charging that I did a little while ago, um, they show up really nicely. You can see both blades. Uh, I also wanted to show you what it looks like with the UV light shine directly on it. So if you have a black light for the display, um, they glow, glow a really nice color here. So again, with the lights off. So yeah, they're glowing a lot better um, to the eye than they are here. Um, they, even though this is a blue color, they glow more of a greenish um, to the naked eye. And again, this, this is the best I can really capture it on my camera, but Again, it, it is a lot nicer than um, you're seeing here. So yeah, uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about was uh, one of the cool things is I, I know I was talking about you know Darth Maul and, and Star Wars earlier. It, the reason I was mentioning that also was uh, Autotron Prime, again, one of the collaborators on this project, um, he has a, a connector bit that he's going to be selling or he might already be selling um, that will connect the two blades together so you can kind of get a uh, two-sided blade like Darth Maul had in The Phantom Menace. So you can um, have a really cool, cool double-sided blade um, if you pick that up as well. Um, I don't know the exact details on when that's available and where that's available through. I know it's through Aut Autotron Prime though. So um, yeah, very cool set. If you guys have any questions or comments about this, this set, let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. But otherwise, uh, go ahead and head on over to the Shodism Prime to pick these up. Again, I believe they're 25 bucks. Uh, head on over to uh, Killer Into Customs' uh, Facebook page, Autotron Prime's uh, page, uh, and Nines page, uh, and check those out. I'll, I'll link those. Uh, in the description <clears throat> but otherwise I think that's it for for this set uh, I've, I've always enjoyed um, doing reviews of GCI stuff just because they always do kind of things that the fans really want so they're doing things for the fans uh, and they're by fans which is really really cool alright if you like uh, the video go ahead and please click subscribe as well uh, give it a thumbs up and hopefully we'll see you next time thanks a lot everyone